Welcome to your real illuminating moment. All things being equal, all things people, sexual preferences, sexual proclivities, sexual perversions, wickedness being equal, there should not only be gay pride, but adultery pride, heterosexual pride, pedophile pride, rapist pride, prostitution pride, pimp, whore, and madam pride, all things being equal. All things being equal and equality and tolerance being the great cause for the proliferation of immoralities and abominations, let all wickedness proclaim pride in their ungodliness. Don't practice prejudice and discrimination against other forms of evil and perversions, whereby gays are the only anti-Yahweh group that get to be proud and parade their pride. Let all of Satan's demonic spirits and anti-Yahweh souls come out of the closet and proclaim their right to be as self-indulgent, perverse, twisted, and ungodly as they would like. Don't hide now. Show your pride. You've not repented nor felt any shame or regret for your immoral practices and desires. You love you. And you are happy and satisfied with yourself and your way of thinking, feeling, and gratifying yourself. You are quite pleased with you. And you are more than happy to assume privilege and entitlement and insist that others, regardless of their own personal right to an opposing view, respect your right to suppress their right to object to your wickedness or even to think of your way as being evil. You are just a great big bundle of human pride, aren't you? And you've bullied others into accepting your transgressions as righteous and you as being one of God's little ones. So, uh, although I may stand alone among so great a crowd of cowards and weaklings who capitulate to your charms and acquiesce to your politics, religions, and social decadence and vile wickedness, I am determined to stand with God against all forms of sexual perversion and spiritual immoralities and sin. I refuse to share in any prideful act against Yahweh, nor will I condone any through passive silence. If Satan is bold enough to flaunt her pride in the face of God, I will be faithful enough to stand on God's everlasting and omnipotent word. With the power of the Holy Spirit of Yahweh, I will faithfully proclaim the gospel of Christ and repeat his message of salvation to all. Repent! I'm O.W. Prince, and this has been your real illuminating moment. And as always in parting, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Life hurts, but God heals. Keep looking up.